We've all seen how overpowered everyone's favorite blindfolded big brother is, especially in the most recent season of JJK, where we were able to get a closer look at Gojo's origins and how he learned to make use of his powers. However, his curse technique seems to be a pretty complex one. When he's explaining how Limitless works to Jogo, and then to Bagman here, Gojo describes his power through the lens of a mathematician. I've never really seen any other anime power get quite a treatment, so I decided to play ball with that idea and make a short video explaining Gojo's most powerful techniques. So let's try to lay out how this all fits in with some real world math concepts. There are a couple of places we could start, but first let's go over how curse energy works, which is applicable to all sorcerers, not just Gojo. Curse energy is created from negative emotions. Basically, it's like stamina or mana for sorcerers. Even though it is by nature negative, it can be used both offensively and defensively. But what if you want to heal someone or something? The problem is that curse energy can only destroy, not create. So here's where we're going to bring in the first math concept. One of the easiest ways to turn a negative number into a positive number is to multiply it by itself. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, just like any number squared is positive. If you're really good at controlling curse energy, like Gojo, you can make as much positive energy or reverse curse energy as you want, just by quote-unquote squaring regular curse energy. This allows you to heal as well as attack. Shoko actually learned how to do this before Gojo, but she couldn't really explain it as well as Gojo. Now, let's focus on Gojo specifically, starting with putting a name to Gojo's technique. His power is called Six Eyes, which is an ability that pops up from time to time in his bloodline. Six Eyes has three different modes, blue, neutral, limitless, and red. Neutral, when activated, generates an asymptotic barrier around the caster's position. Basically, an asymptote is a proverbial line in the sand that a function can approach, drawing infinitely close, but can never actually touch it. A simple asymptote can be produced by the function 1 over x equals y. The practical effect of this, which you can see Gojo use in the show, is that any incoming object will slow and eventually stop before touching Gojo's barrier. Next, we have Curse Technique Amplification Blue, or Blue for short. It's activated by infusing Limitless with cursed energy. In this state, Limitless creates an attraction force, kind of like a black hole. This can be used to pull enemies off their feet and towards Gojo, kind of like Pain's universal pull. Blue is actually really similar to a sink, a point on a vector field that any other point will be attracted to and eventually come to rest at. On the other hand, Curse Technique Reversal, red, or red for short, is activated when Limitless is powered by reverse curse energy. If blue produces a singularity that generates an attractive force, then red must produce the exact opposite of that, a singularity that generates a repulsive force. Red can be used to throw objects away from Gojo, similar to Almighty Push. Red is represented by a source, a point on a vector field where any point will be pushed away from and that no point can come to rest at. Lastly, we have Gojo's ace in the hole, hollow purple. By forcing blue and red to combine, purple is created, a field that completely annihilates whatever it comes into contact with. I don't just mean it destroys things. I mean that it erases its target as if it never existed in the first place. Hollow purple can't really be represented as a mathematical model, since it violates conservation of mass and energy. As for that though, I don't really care. JJK is a quality show, and I'll also spend my disbelief to watch ghosts get clapped. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope I didn't bore you all too much. See you in the next one.